still able to score. I love the pure confidence on that jumper. He takes that three despite the defender being right in front of his face. That's borderline disrespectful. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. It's Golden State basketball. To Thompson. Here comes the screen. Thompson. Smothering D. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. DeMontis Sabonis trying to cash in on the three-point play for his career, 72%. Free throw up and good. A three-point play. It's back to a one-point game. Possession lies with Golden State. Nothing going here on that drive. Missed it. They weren't going to give that to him. Well, you can't finish with your right hand on the left side of the rim. You actually have to use your opposite hand. Steve Nass is one of the best at this. Different shots at different angles, high off the glass, expecting that there are trees down below with long wingspans that can block your shot. Here's Curry with it up top. His guys now down by a point. To Thompson. Harrison blocked oh, away. That one's in the 15th row. Huge denial. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Shot clock winding down. It's Sacramento ball. Nice pass to set things up. Harrison Barnes powers it through. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Here comes the screen. Harrison Barnes. He's 5 for 10, shooting 50%. And if you're on defense on that last possession, no need to look over to the coach's bench, hold up your arms, wonder what did you do. Everybody got back. Everybody communicated. Everybody pointed. It was just better offense than there was defense. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. And when the ball gets the defense rotating from side to side, you're bound to find opportunities for each other. Fox across the timeline. Leads three. To Barnes. Down low for Len. And that's rebounded by Golden State. To Green. Goes to the left side. Here comes the screen. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref spit, and that's the game. Barnes stuffs it down with authority. 
Mm -hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> to Curry. Nothing going here on that drive. Curry. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Kevon Looney at the line for a chance at a three-point play. He struggled so far. Critical free throw that time. Three-point play, and this game is all tied up. Knocked loose. Warriors come away with it. Neck and neck. They couldn't get anything on that possession. Let's see if we can get a bucket in transition. Into the front court. It's Fox. His group now down two. Baseline drive, but he can't finish. It's because he took his eye off his target, Ed. As an offensive player, you have to glare at where the defender's coming to, but quickly redirect yourself to your actual target. He was more consumed with the defender than he was the actual rim. To Fox. Nice pass to get things going. Big shout out to the athletic trainer for this team. It's obvious you've been doing all the preparation required of your team in the weight room in the offseason. Flex on them a little bit. Nothing going here on that drive. The Kings will use a timeout. They're going to have to draw something up for an open look at a three. Deep three at the buzzer. It's the Warriors who get the victory as they win this one by three. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. everyone it's Jalen Rose and it's time for the EA Sports post game wrap up the Warriors got the win in a nail biter and it's always great to watch a team with such an unselfish approach to the game plenty of assists were delivered throughout this contest what you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Golden State Warriors the Kings are probably frustrated with themselves after such a narrow loss. Sure, it's great they shot so well from three, but none of that really matters when your team has one more loss to show for it. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Sacramento Kings. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game.
Draymond Green was happy to throw down plenty of dunks. And if the defense happened to be there, he brought them along for the ride. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.